morning. Well, we've got some beautiful weather on the way, but change is coming. But look at temperatures right now. 38 degrees at the Allen County Airport. We've got 35 up in Bluffton. Down in Salina, 37. Wapak, 37. And let's go north. Paulding County, they're at 33. We're all going to warm up into the 60s, well above the normal for this time of year. We've got lots of sunshine on tap, but that is going to be changing. We're going to see clouds on the increase, and we've got some showers, even some thunderstorms, some possible severe weather on the way, but not for today. As we zoom in closer, lots of sunshine, not many clouds in the sky right now. Winds right now out of the south. They're at about 12 miles per hour, 10 right now at the Allen County Airport. We've got light winds in Ottawa, up in Finley, up to 7 miles per hour. Not a lot of strong, gusty winds for today, but that will also be changing as we see some showers and thunderstorms moving through. But to plan your day today, really nice weather. You're going to need the jacket in the morning, but you can ditch it by the afternoon. Partly cloudy skies by 9 o'clock, 40 degrees. By lunchtime, mostly sunny skies, 54. By 3 o'clock, 62 degrees in sunshine. We expect a high temperature around 63 degrees, which as you look at the almanac, that is well above the normal. Average high today, 41. The average low, 25. So we are seeing spring-like weather again for today. But uh, we're going to see some strong showers and thunderstorms moving in. Nice for today, but we've got a low in this cold front, and it's deepening. And as it moves on in, we'll see increasing clouds tonight and into tomorrow. The chance of some showers. Really going to dig in and get deep showers, maybe even some thunderstorms. Overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. Wednesday, the showers and thunderstorms will begin to taper off. We'll be on the back side of that cold front. So a few snow flurries possible later in the day on Wednesday, but cooler weather, but drier weather on the backside as we see some sunshine returning for the end of the week. As we look at Skycast today, though, nice day with lots of sunshine, a few extra clouds moving in, and throughout Tuesday morning, we're going to start the day with some clouds. We'll also see some showers begin to move in late in the afternoon. The southern part of the viewing area is seeing the showers first. This is 3.30 predictor showing us some showers, even some thunderstorms indicated by the oranges and the reds. Throughout the evening, Tuesday, some spotty showers and thunderstorms moving through overnight into Wednesday. We're seeing predictors show us some showers and some thunderstorms. We could see some severe weather. Winds will be picking up. They'll be gusting up to 35, 40 miles per hour. So this storm system we're tracking and watching carefully because we could see some heavy downpours and some severe weather with gusty winds as that storm system moves through. But not today. 63 the high, sunny skies, light winds out of the south. Just a beautiful day. The kind of the calm before the storm. 51 the low tonight, so very mild for the evening mostly cloudy skies. Those chance of showers begin to move in overnight. The winds also pick up tonight. For tomorrow, 66 the high, nice and mild, but then we have those showers and thunderstorms, and we'll see the stronger gusty winds again. Wednesday, showers, and then they'll change over to the possibility of a little bit of snow. Don't freak out. It doesn't look like there's going to be a big accumulation. Just we're on the back side of that front, and it's going to be colder because our high 51 temperatures dropping. We're going to see a low 23 Wednesday night, but then look at that. The sunshine is back and also a warming trend as we move towards the weekend, just in time for the weekend. That's right. I'm not going to complain about sunshine and happiness. You it's know? that roller coaster of Ohio weather again. It is what it is. Cedar Point. <laughs> <laughs> not open yet, but yeah, yes, exactly. it is. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up in Consumer News, it was a cold month for sales and home sales in January. And you ever wonder which profession has the most ethical and honest